Where does the courage come from to be a Christian? Of compassion and courage and sacrifice and love when the world is not agreeing with any of that. Where does that come from? And the answer is in verse 34. You, ex you joyfully accepted, joyfully accepted, joyfully accepted. The question is, where does that come from? Because joy is the strength that is carrying the day here. You joyfully accepted the seizure of your property since you knew that you yourselves had a better possession and an abiding one. The most important word in that sentence is since, or it could just read knowing that you have because it means since. Let me read it again slowly. You joyfully, put yourself in here now, you joyfully accepted the plundering of your property because, so if you ask me, where does this joy come from? Where does the strength come from? This courage come from? This sacrifice come from? Because you knew that you yourselves have a better possession and an abiding one. Hope has a name. The possession has a name. The better and the eternal has a name. His name is Jesus. We hope in him. We hope for him. The better and abiding possession. Paul said, for me to die is gain. I am torn. I want to depart and be with Christ. For that is far, what's the word? Better. That's the word far better. To remain in the flesh is more necessary on your account. Got that? Do you believe that? To die is better than living. Paul did. These people did. That's where the joy came from as they went to prison. That's where the joy came from as they lost their property. You joyfully accepted the seizure of your property it means your hope in the better and abiding possession is so real. These aren't just words for you. I would ask you, are they words for you? Or are they realities for you? Is your possession beyond the grave more precious than anything this world offers? If it's not, you won't live like this. That's what 350 years has ruined. It has made us at home here so that this world is more precious to us than that world. Thank you very much. I don't want to go yet. Stay away. So I'm not going to the prison and I'm not going to say anything or do anything that would make this life, which is my real love, uncomfortable. Notice the two things in verse 34. Abiding, it's an abiding and it's a better. Abiding and better, abiding and better. Better means this life is inferior, that life is better. Abiding means this life is temporary, that life is forever. My favorite verse in the Psalms is Psalm 1611. You show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Do you hear those two words? Fullness of joy, pleasures forever. Does that sound familiar to verse 34? Better and abiding, better, full, abiding forever. Anybody who can come up to me after the service and authentically, genuinely, truly offer me anything better then full and abiding joy in Jesus, I will stop being a Christian this morning.